Hello. Hey, Edwin. Uh, Alex Ruiz of the Galactic Tribune. Uh, first of all, just this game right here to start the season going up against you're marking Messi for a lot of the time. I mean, what was your thought process during this game? And, you know, were there any nerves coming into it going against a player of his caliber? Um, I think the ultimate goal was to win and to get <clears throat> the season started in the way we wanted. Um, and that was kind of my mentality. And that's what kind of kept me, you know, calm throughout the whole week and especially throughout the day today. Um, I think if I put too much focus on him, then I lose focus of the ultimate goal, which is to win. Um, and yeah, he plays around uh, the areas that, that I have to defend. So um, I had to be alert the entire time. And it, this game is probably the most <laughs> mentally draining um, I've ever played. Uh, but disappointed with the result because, you know, ultimately we want to win and this club wants to win. Um, but we put in a good shift and this team is, is up for good things. Yeah, I mean, if you can talk about maybe the intensity on the pitch, I think you had a couple of words with uh, Messi as well a bit and some of the other players. I mean, how was it in, in the trenches, essentially? Uh, can you repeat it again? I well, like the intensity of the match, how much did that motivate you, affect you? And I guess in a way, um, how important was it to keep, I guess, those emotions in check and, you know, this game with fans, you know, uh, all shouting and, you know, a great atmosphere tonight? Yeah, as soon as we went out uh, for warm-ups, you could feel it and... It was maybe the first time that I got chills uh, going into the warm-ups. Um, and then as the game started, um, ultimately keeping my focus and, and knowing that I can enjoy that moment after the game. Um, and with my family, knowing that I played, um, I guess, against him, but uh, that wasn't the focus. Um, and yeah, we had a, a moment there, um, just like with any player, you know. Um, I'm not one to back down. Um, and so I kind of blacked out in the moment just because it was him, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not going to back down from no one and that was a special moment for me, maybe not for him, but um, I always remember it. And again, just, just with that all being said, um, just disappointed that we couldn't close it off at the end. Thank you, Edwin. Edwin, can you maybe talk a little bit about the defense? I know job not complete because you guys eventually let in a goal, but for most of that game, you guys seem to keep them in check. Uh, you talk about your focus, but what about everybody else around you? Yeah, um, I think from the first day of preseason, that was a big focus of, of what we wanted to improve on from last season. Um, and just getting everybody on the same page to make the effort, work for each other, um, stay organized, stay compact, and just everyone having the same goal of, of trying to keep in our score at zero. Um, again, we had a moment there where we went down to 10 men, and ultimately it's a, it's a turnover that, that we could have avoided. Um, but I think defensively everybody has the same goal of working for each other um, and knowing that if we have a good defense, we have the pieces to, to attack the teams that, uh, that we're up against. Hey, Edwin, um, at any time did you tell Messi don't mess with Texas at all? Uh, <laughs> no, I like to think that I'm from LA now. So. <laughs> oh, you changed, you changed on us. Yeah. Uh, you said the game was mentally, um, was your words, draining, I think you said. In, in what way? Um, just being focused um, wherever he is, because obviously it's no secret that he's a game changer. And you take your focus off for one split second, and he makes a difference, just like he did on, on that last play. Um, so just being aware, um, trying to be aware every second was, was kind of hard because um, he moves around a lot and, you know, he has players that always look for him. So um, I think that's just where I had to be focused and, you know, just always aware of him. Hey, Edwin. Rob Jalab, last word on sports. Uh, Tata Martino said in his, in his uh part of the press conference that uh, the team has una diferente cara, like a, a new face or, or a new feel to it. How, is, how much differently do you feel it uh, being in the locker room with the new players coming in and, uh, you know, uh, I guess for lack of a better term, a new sense of optimism? Are you guys feeling that? Yeah, and I think from, from when I joined in uh, last season in August, um, you can definitely feel that change. Um, everybody around the club, the fans were disappointed that we didn't make the playoffs last year and, and we want to, you know, prove to them that this team needs to be up top and 
everybody has that in mind and everybody has the same goals of uh, putting this club where it needs to be. Hey Edwin, how are you? Uh, la misma pregunta, pero en español. ¿Cómo fue ese intercambio con Messi? Y también como que llegó Busquets y Suárez y te empujaron. Como yo sentí como que te querían de alguna forma poner a prueba o, o acosarte un poco los veteranos. ¿Cómo fue esa, inter esa interacción? ¿Cómo te sentiste? Eh, en, esa, en ese momento, eh, de primero me quedé sorprendido que me estaba hablando. Así que lo primero que me dijo ni lo entendí, ni se, ni se me grabó. Eh, y lo estaba diciendo en serio y es cuando en ese momento sabía que necesitaba que tener la calma yo porque era temprano en el partido eh, él sabe lo que hace y a lo mejor se quiere meter en mi cabeza y como con cualquiera no me voy a eh, quedar callado y cuando vinieron Suárez y Busquets a defenderlo bueno, es, un, es bonito eh, pero es parte del fútbol y en ese momento era cuando tenía que tener la calma y jugar el partido y, y seguir. ¿Le dijiste algo que nos puedas compartir? Eh, en ese momento, lo que se dijo me lo voy a quedar grabado yo. Eh, es algo, es algo que, que siempre lo voy a tener en mi mente y eso me lo quedo yo. Por último, ¿cómo fue la experiencia completa ahora como un jugador importante del Galaxy? Enfrentar a Messi, a Suárez, a Busquets, casa llena, siendo un jugador importante ahora del Galaxy. Gracias. Eh, saliendo, era pregunta. Sí, ¿cómo fue la experiencia completa? Eh, desde que salimos al calentar, eh, con toda la gente que estaba ahí, eh, salí y me dieron escalofríos, se dice en español, ¿no? Por primera vez, con tanta gente y sabiendo que mi familia... Están aquí también junto conmigo y bueno, también tenemos ese objetivo de ganar. Entonces eso era lo que estaba en mi mente al calentar, al, desde que empezó el partido y hasta el último. Y no se pudo, pero este equipo está para pa buenas cosas. ¿Qué tal Edwin? ¿Qué tan diferente se siente el equipo en este arranque de la temporada y qué tanto ayudó iniciar en casa contra Messi el sentir esa, ese ambiente eléctrico que hubo el día de hoy? Sí, desde la temporada pasada que llegué, eh, todos estamos de acuerdo que, que algo tenía que cambiar. Este equipo debe de estar arriba y todos tenemos ese objetivo en común que tenemos que trabajar día a día. Y empezamos en pretemporada defensivamente y con las piezas ofensivas que tenemos, eh, sabemos que tenemos un buen equipo. Y hoy tuvimos una gran noche, una gran oportunidad de arrancar bien. Eh, no se dio al último los tres puntos, pero el trabajo ahí está. Y este equipo eh, vamos a trabajar para, para poner al Galaxy arriba. Una vez más, tu conclusión en general del partido y el uno a uno que les empatan ya en el descuento, Edwin. Sí, eh, muy defensivo de parte de nosotros, eh, creo que le jugamos a la, a la contra en momentos eh, con las piezas que tenemos y como lo había dicho, todos tenemos ese objetivo en común de quedar nuestra portería en cero eh, y eso, así se dio el juego y bueno, íbamos ganando y cuando con 10 nosotros y ellos con Messi, bueno, está está un poquito complicado porque te cambia el partido en, en un segundo y así fue, pero hay que aprender de, este, de esto. All right, thanks you, thank you for your time, Edwin. Thank you. Thanks, Edwin. Thank you.